Hi, welcome back to um, how to create a dominance on uh, Facebook. Welcome back. This is a part two of the video, and i um, happy to have you here again. So, we'll go straight to uh, we try to finish a couple of stuff about the LinkedIn um, stuff. So, we looked about um, we looked at um, now. I want to talk about messaging pattern now. One thing about social media is that you need to be social and just like I will come here and I will see that uh, my friend may have a birthday or something I'll just go and say happy birthday if I want to add extra words I add to it now this is my friend once I send happy birthday you will see one of my posts and later engage in it and because People like we like this thing in uh world that we will first of all talk to each other. Yeah, so this person is doing a eight years of job and work on the so send my person a work on the past. So this person has one of these stuff. So I'll just go and share and you see we good to go. So been able to create the active uh, stuff with him. A lot of people also view my profile as people also get to view your profile. And then um, people also get to know you better. So you also go and engage on other people's posts. For example, here I will see lots of uh, engaging comments. So with a lot of people I engage with, I see a lot of amazing comments. So I saw that this person just got an award, this award of talent management strategy. So I'll just go and say congratulations, what an inspiration. So so LinkedIn acts as my activity. I'll just say amazing inspiration. So I have created a connection. So the person has known me in, the, in his mind a bit. So if I'm going to chat the person up now or maybe in the next two days, the person I don't need much uh, to say I'll just say maybe I'll just comment based on what I did. So messaging also you can look at anybody and connect even i had the uh, the founder of uh, uh, Ote, okay i thought uh, uh femi or tedola is on my list also so you can actually talk with uh, a lot of uh, bank managers here like you can just go here and just uh, hit, hit, hit your message so i'm bringing you to my first now um uh, chat is that something that is only required want to just hit something up to you so but okay so can click here. The first thing you need to do is hi, thank them that you're happy to connect with them, and then you uh, you find their you find it amazing and this stuff and this stuff, and you shoot what you want and you're good to go. So you shoot what you want and you're good to go. So one of the things I would like you to do is. Uh, Get to connect with more people. You can even tell a company in LinkedIn that you have a solution for their business. Just share them your website or some stuff like that. And you're good to go. Now let's go back to my Facebook. So this is my Facebook. This is my Facebook. So I uh, okay. So after you do that, you can actually connect with people. I have lots of amazing people. Connect to them, at their product, engage on their product. Tell anybody that comments on your own, tell them thank you and all that. Things. Also, um, go on their own and talk about it. Add people of similar interest and build massive uh, um, engagement with it. So let's go to the next section. It has to do with the uh, content strategies. Tell a story a day to be the new of a day. Posting using pictures, engage on viral groups consistency of posting now, one of the groups that actually blew me out was head start africa i um, engaged and john obedia posted me down in 2018 as the spotlight for that week so i had a lot of uh, friends went that day and um, it was a pretty much amazing so i don't post on social media easily without using pictures so because um, uh, why a picture can tell a thousand stories so i used uh, pictures so and I post by telling to I don't just come and tell you maybe seven tips on how to lose weight. And I'll say lose weight number one, eat good food number this. Do. I will say stories. I will relate it with myself. It relate to somebody like 
with me. If you relate to somebody around me, I'm going to tell the stories. So I tell a lot of stories to uh, build memories and um, trigger and uh, actions in people. So I so share. How do you do this? Share your pain story. Share your pain story. Like for example, I one of the stories that got people so much engaged with me was a. Uh, there was a post I made that I talked about how I started social media marketing and how and then outside of my social impact project but this post that got me a lot of engagement was telling people how I went, sacrificed, went, traveled from my location to another location, stayed for like four days there, stayed um, just to learn social media ma- uh, marketing skills, came back and took actions immediately. So the, what differentiates me was just action. So I was trying to tell them a story about action, why they should take action and things. So I also told the story about how I uh, I about to be suicide when I was age 13. So I shared these stories and do, that was during the suicide season. I shared these stories and I linked it with purpose, like how you can know a man with purpose and those stuff. So a lot of people also engaged with it. I shared the story of how uh, I Jesus taught me social media marketing. That was, I was actually drawing the lesson of uh, Jesus' speech about give and it shall be given unto you, press down, shaking together, running over your men, give unto your brother. So these are the things I was actually drawing into account. And um, I was post, I posted this on groups and I had a lot of people engaging with me. I posted about how I, how I, how I overcame. Okay, let me get to show you uh, some of my uh, posts. Go back to my uh, accounts here. So. And because of I don't really I don't tag people a lot. I usually go through my Facebook timeline without seeing so much posts. Okay, that was what I was avoiding. That's why I don't really uh, share posts. Or I don't post every day. But on Instagram, I using Instagram. I need to post every day. On Twitter, I need to like post up to like five times that day. Okay, using all these uh, other platforms. But for me, or Facebook, you don't need to post every day. I find it that like, it's so stressful sharing posts and so some of the guys they draw like I connected with the everyone and we did the we did a we did a guide for young people and we had a lot of engagement also so so you see that's uh, I share a lot of uh, experiences with people so I had, I shared this story about um, my medical history I was able to. Um, with my medical induction, which I just finished in the month of February 2020. So, um, yes, I'm, look, I'm looking it up now. So, looking it up now. So, like, okay, that was look at it. So, you could tell a story of how I actually overcame um, medical needs. So, so, I shared about this. I shared about this. So, I talked about the how I was able to um, combine both ICT and um, this stuff, ICT and medicals together. And I was able to still get a strong class offer, 3.7, and um, also maintain a niche in the ICT industry. So I told this story, I said, excuse me, but it's man. So that's it, and it took a lot of story, a lot of engagement with it. So a lot of people also reached out to me, and then um, don't really talk about a lot of people who post every day, but whatever post I make has a lot of trends and meanings. And even on my bed, I tell a lot of stories. So um, look out for your pains to be original, follow trends. Maybe uh, what is trending now, maybe the coronavirus thing. You can talk about maybe Africa, what comes here, coronavirus. And uh, the dollar is declining to the naira. That means the naira, <laughs> the naira has appreciates more. <laughs> so we can talk about people who should uh, work online to earn dollars rather than them going panic. Uh, this kind of stuff. So and uh, the original post viral content and acknowledge them. You can see somebody can someone can create a very wonderful write up. And you are doing, like you can post it on your social media, but acknowledge the person, track the person, let people know that you are not the one that wrote it. You can take the same pattern and acknowledge the person. Or uh, rather than you sharing it, you can copy the post as it is, 
a picture and the person's name, you post it like a post on your social media. At the last hour at the front, you put it by hot seat by this person and tag the person. It also helps you also get by so people know that these are the things that you like. So um, uh, we're good to go and um, I want to encourage you to tell viral stories um, engage more on social media get connected and one more thing again when people become your friend on the on the facebook there's something that i would like you to do like when if i meet someone and i want to really connect with that person let's say uh, i want to connect with this person i'll find out something that really to us so he's doing software engineer i'm doing a uh, cyber security and this so i can just say hi uh, awesome connecting with you i just say awesome this is super awesome connecting with you here on linkedin so uh so that is so then let's say i count you as the person of value you see me can't tell the person of value then i've all i've made an introduction then can i say i am a precious as well a can just he want something that you use when we meet a social entrepreneur in nigeria in nigeria passionate about uh, so you see, I've been able to entreat myself and my professional team. Passionate about um, economic empowerment in young people. Of young people. Okay. So um, then I will uh, this thing. And if I want to introduce a service to him, I can say I offer uh, public speaking gig on those niches. Public speaking, I can call it consultancy on so and so stuff. I can say consultancy and um, facilitation services on customer care and um, digital marketing. And um, all I call it the uh, community building. Feel free, I want say, uh, always feel free to let me know. To let me know if you would need any of the services. In any of these services, and um, I will be super excited to help out. I'll be super excited to help out. I you see, and I'll say kind of guys. Can look at the spacing, and I gave and I'll say precious as well. If I want to give him a website link, I would have added it also. I can ask him to check out some of my portfolios on this. Okay. That's uh, it. So I will send it to him now. <laughs> so, I so you can do the same thing to a lot of people. You just, um, whenever somebody accepts your friend request, that you see person, someone your value or higher person, and um, you pitch your skill to the person like that. So you can have, if you pitch this to like a hundred people of all your friends list, a day you don't have a lot of business if you really have a on the, your business has a lot of offers so i'll pitch this to him and uh, can pitch this now to other people i can most times but well, it's good that you make the right person's thing hi uh musa or hi this so they will know you're you're not just copying a message to uh lots of people okay so i will advise you to go viral um do things that brings out your best, uh, explore opportunities, and my name is uh, Precious Azul, and uh, 
、I'm digital market, uh, social entrepreneur, digital business consultant, and I'm excited about helping you.